Hi guys, um, I know I've written about why I don't bench press, but I'd just like to show you from a physical point of view why I don't. Okay, so that you understand the movement of my arms and the, and the reason why I don't do that bench press movement. Okay, so we're holding a bench press, a bench. We're on a bench and we're holding a bar. Okay, there the pec is contracted. It's, it's flexed, it's not contracted, it's flexed because it's stretched. And that's its weakest point. And that's the danger point with bench press. Because from there, then you've got to push with quite a heavy weight. But the trouble is, you don't move the, in the natural arc of the way the pec muscle was designed. You don't come inwards. With bench press, you go outwards, so that's still weak. And when you push the bar out there, the, the pec is softer. It's not flexed. Okay, the pec muscle works by adducting the arm inwards. So with cables, okay, flies, dumbbell press, anything that brings the arm inwards flexes the pec. Bench press doesn't. Pecs are soft. And that's the danger point because you can put a lot of weight on there. You can hold it there no problem. As soon as you come down, snap, something goes on either here on the, on the tendon or in, in the rotator cuff and that's where all the problems occur and that's the reason I haven't included bench press in the body sculpt blueprint okay any uh, questions then please ask away on Sunday in the live Q&A at 8 p.m. Cheers guys <coughs>